Hi, this is Avara from Scrappy Mania, and today I just want to give you a quick tip how you can make cards that are top folding like this one using your small guillotine. So let me show you how to do it. So the reason why I, I, I want to use this to cut my top folding card is because I do have a large guillotine, but it takes a lot of my real estate on my craft room and my table. So it, it's really large for my table. And um, I also have this, this, um, and this scoreboard. It's also large. However, the scoreboard, I can put something on top. And sometimes what I do is I do have a cutting mat that I insert on here and I craft on top of this which is fine but I cannot do that with my big guillotine I have to constantly move it out of the way and then bring it back and a lot of times I end up putting it on the floor because I, I run out of space on my table so what I wanted to find a way that I can do these type of cards just using my small guillotine so what I decided to do, but first let me show you how easy it is if you, if you just want to do regular cards that are either horizontal like this or you know this way so I can either make a card with this format you know that it's four and a quarter by five and a half or five and a half by four and a quarter. Let's see. No, this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So as you can see here, I can do it this way or I can do a card portrait like that. But if I want to do these type of cards, it, it's kind of more difficult. So I tend to do a lot of these because I usually just use my um, guillotine and I end up cutting my cardstock so I can put my cardstock on the 11 side I can put my cardstock in here and then I do I do have some adhesive here I put a, a tape that it helps measure I measured out five and a half exactly and I put some painters tape and it also helps because it creates a ridge that painter tape creates a ridge so I can butt it against this side I can butt it against the top ridge like so and then I can just cut in the middle and then I have my small little scoreboard very tiny very convenient and then I just measure four and a quarter fold it over and there I'm done I've done a card so see how simple that is let me go ahead and do that but I want to try to mix things up. I want to create some top folding cards. And so in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the big Martha Stewart scoreboard. Now, there are some other scoreboards on the market. This one's no longer available on the market. But you can find um, We Are Memory has one and some other companies have one. So I go ahead and score my five and a half line okay and then I fold it in half and that creates a perfect fold then I take my small little guillotine and I measure four and a quarter so I just line it up with four and a quarter and then slice and there I have a perfect top folding card which I could also use it this way or top fold. I like it top folding so I like that so that's pretty much my tip I hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye now